Hi everyone, my name is Allegra Miller and I'm happy to be here with you this morning to share the astrology for January 20th, 2021 and the essential oils that will be helpful in alchemizing these energies. I, before I get started, um, I'm just gonna, gonna make a list so that you can get out the oils that you have and we can all oil up together. So, Terra Shield, Lemon, Terra Shield is good for grumpiness, Lemon for focus. I guess I won't say any of the reasons, I'll just, say, just go with straight oils. Terra Shield, Lemon, any citrus, so Tangerine, Wild Orange, Citrus Bliss, Cheer would be great. Elevation is one that I don't have here, but it would be great. Uh, digest Zen Emotions, let's go with Digest Zen. Ginger. Oregano, Stubbornness. Eucalyptus, Turmeric, Breathe. Geranium, Balance. Cardamom, cedarwood, black spruce, cypress if you have it. I personally don't have cypress at the moment, so I grabbed Aroma Touch, which has cypress in it. Peace, rosemary, forgive, console, peace, and adaptive. And that's the list. So hopefully you have some of the oils. Wonderful if you have all of the oils. And if you don't have any of the oils, still listen along because there's a lot that can be gained in understanding the properties of these oils so that you can bring that intention forth and, um, and, and do your own internal alchemy without an oil. So and that is very much a possibility that oils can help you basically be training wheels to do that on your own. Um, but if you don't have any right now, it's okay. But reach out to me if you're interested in, in purchasing oils. Uh, I do sell oils. I've been using, teaching about, and selling doTERRA for over seven years. I, it's the only oil that I'm suggesting in these videos for the properties that I'm suggesting because there's a huge difference in terms of the chemical composition the power of alchemy of these oils. It's just the best of the best in terms of therapeutic value. So do keep that in mind. This is not going to be an oil you're gonna get at the health food store. It's just not gonna be the same. Uh, when I started using doTERRA, it was just a huge transformational journey, game changer in my own uh, alchemical journey. So please uh, reach out to me if I can be of service. I would love to help you. Also, I am a healer and I have several credentials in the healing arts. I'm a certified life coach. Um, I do naturopathic consultations, body work, etc. So look at my bio, reach out. I do uh, appointments in this area of Grand Haven, Michigan. I also do appointments by phone, Skype, etc. So Anyway, let's get started and talk about this energy. So the moon was in Aries uh, until early this morning. This is still going to be influencing us, and hopefully you get this video this morning. It was my intention to get this video out earlier in the day so we could all oil up together and get ready for our day. Um, and eventually, one of these days, I will be a day ahead. So it is, it is my intention right now, it's progress, that I'm talking to you at 10.22 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So, okay, so I talked about Pluto and Capricorn a few videos ago, but I just want to recap briefly what Pluto and Capricorn represents because it's pertinent today being Inauguration Day. Um, Pluto and Capricorn, all right, so Pluto and Capricorn are kind of polarized energies in a way. Pluto is radical transformation. It rules crime, dictatorship, um, fascism. Capricorn, on the other hand, is going to be government, authority, structure, top-down authority, um, rules. So we've got these coming together, and it's helpful to understand what has happened in history when Pluto entered Capricorn before. So the last time Pluto entered Capricorn, uh, well, okay, so Pluto 
actually entered Capricorn January 27, 2008. This is a quite a long stretch that it's going to be here until 2024. But if we look back at before this stretch of time, that was the American Revolution. And a few videos I did talk a few videos ago, I did talk about the United States right now being in its Pluto return, which means that on July 4th, 1776, at 1710 Philadelphia, I believe, if memory is correct, that's the time of the birth of our Cancerian nation. If you look at that chart where Pluto was, is where Pluto is returning to soon. It's not quite there, but um, it is, uh, it's almost there. And the last time, but the last time Pluto was in Capricorn was the American Revolution. That's my point. So this is an interesting energy. Being that it formed this square with the moon and Aries early this morning, expect contentiousness. That's why I suggested having Terra Shield out. Uh, Terra Shield I, is the oil of grumpiness. It is helpful for just getting rid of negative energy, uh, but, but very helpful if you're feeling... Um, it's helpful if you're just feeling irritable, aggressiveness, etc. Or if those around you are. It's just, I would say, with energies that I'm going to continue talking about today, Terra Shield and the Diffuser today would be a good combo. With any of the citruses, Citrus Bliss, Wild Orange. Wild Orange is going to be, and Citrus Bliss are going to be uppers that are going to help elevate the emotion. Terra Shield is going to keep that negativity at bay. Lemon would be helpful with focus, uh, but any of the citruses will be just helpful in pulling up the mood. I'm here in Michigan where we have another beautiful day of, of grayness, which I, truthfully has its own beauty. It's just that we have lots of days of gray in a row. Thankfully it snowed, so that adds to the light factor. Uh, but I like the citruses this time of the year because it's sort of sunshine in a bottle. It really helps to lift the energy, lift the mood. Um, all right, so that's what I'd get in my diffuser. You might want to get some breathe going. I'm someone that has a diffuser literally in every room of my house. No joke. Some rooms have two. Uh, so uh, it is sort of a walking aromatherapy experience to be in my house. In the shower, on a regular basis, I use, where is it, eucalyptus. And eucalyptus just helps to clear my airways and is going to keep, um, I, I just clear each nostril in the shower, kind of gross to share, but it works. And in the shower, it kind of gives you that eucalyptus steam bath feeling in my, uh, in my own, in my imagination, it takes me to... Uh, a steam bath even though it's it's not but it feels like it um maybe it is it is kind of a steam bath just not the one that I think of when I think of steam bath but anyway okay I'm getting way out of topic all right uh all right so the Aries that warrior fiery moon butting heads with this energy of Pluto Capricorn aggressive tendencies so breathe would be one to keep any rage stuff at bay cardamom, you can put that on your hand, breathe it in. Black spruce is really good at forgiveness and just chilling us out in general. You can put that on the back in front of the heart. But cardamom is in breathe, so if you don't have cardamom, don't, don't sweat that. But those are good to huff and um, just center you so that you're less explosive. The moon entered void, became void of course last night after that transit at 3.29 a.m. And so the moon is void, of course, right now until 1.56 p.m. Moon void, of course, means don't make any big decisions. Don't uh, make any big purchases. Try to not have elective procedures if you can help it. Uh, I know you don't have any, um, any whatchamacallit, uh, notice right now, but just going forward, it's helpful to note not to do that if, you, if the moon is void, of course, to be watchful of that when you make appointments. Um, okay, moon void, of course, until t entering Taurus at 1.56 p.m. Taurus, so we're going to be under the influence of Taurus energy. And Taurus, let's just talk about briefly. Tor Taurus is the patient, dependable, reliable, uh, methodical, 
bull of the zodiac. Uh, it is sensual, um, earth-loving, comfortable when out in nature and at home, uh, patient, and definitely um, good with getting things done, good with really executing a plan. Um, on the pos I mean, on the negative, on the shadow side, it's the bull, the bull that can be stubborn, um, explosive at times, slow, definitely not fond of change, very opinionated and stingy on the shadow. Again, it doesn't have to be, so don't take that personally if you're a Taurus, but it's good to take note. Um, so we're going to be under the influence of that moon energy, which means how we're feeling these next couple of days. Today at 3.38 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Mars is conjunct Uranus. Uranus is the planet of change, revolution. It's the ruler of Aquarius. And Mars is the planet of masculinity, aggressiveness, war, uh, sexual desire, etc. I want to emphasize this because I have mentioned before, this was pivotal for this month in that Mars went into Taurus on the 6th. Um, and it has been conjunct Uranus this whole month, but that that is exact today on the 20th. This energy of um, that has been the whole month but is exact today is signature of eruptive, uh, unexpected things like earthquakes, riots, violence, volcanoes, uh, unexpected changes and that we've certainly seen all month but it is, is interesting it's direct today therefore I am emphasizing breathe again because that's going to keep eruptive energies at bay cardamom will keep eruptive energies at bay it's very good for rage and anger that can just be uh, out of control okay and keep this in mind for those that are around you because you can have it in the diffuser and you cannot be talking about any of this, but it can still be influencing your spouses, kids, coworkers, etc. Uh, that's part of the beauty of essential oils. So um, it's the secret sauce that you know and you watch, you can see influence others, but they don't necessarily know they're being influenced by it. So let's move on. Um, all right, so what other energies? Oh, geranium. Geranium is on the front of the back of the heart. I would start your day with that as soon as you get this video. Um, geranium, I also put on my skin. I, I add oils to the hydrating cream of doTERRA, which are really helpful for um, the skin, but geranium is really nice on the front and back of the heart because it helps the heart to open when it's appropriate, and I, I think of it like a flower the heart opens when it's safe to open and closes when it's not safe to open. And geranium really helps that flower to trust itself in that opening process. Um, and it helps to heal the wounds when maybe we opened and it wasn't appropriate. So whatever wounding came as a result of that, geranium will help heal so that the flower can open and close more quickly and can really trust itself in tasting the energies around it, not literally, but, you know, sensing the energies and when that's appropriate, okay? So that's geranium. Other oils to help with that, black spruce I mentioned, peace, peace, forgive, console every day. Just, just do it, front and back of the heart, bottoms of the feet, adaptive. Same, you know, you can put a lot of these all on bottoms of the feet and then you're good to go. I'm um, doing that right now. Just put adaptive on actually. Adaptive is going to be good for the volatility or potential volatility of um, what's happening interior, exterior. Uh, let's see. Immortelle, I didn't mention that in the beginning, but that's always a good one first thing in the day to put on your um, on your forehead, top of the head is another good place. That just has got a lot of the truth bearer oils that help us activate our um, centers of wisdom so that we can operate from them. 
Okay, let's move forward with the day. I'm already at 15 minutes trying to cinch this up. Um, let's see. So we got the Taurus moon. A couple, uh, two things to mention there. The Taurus moon is square the sun at 4.02 p.m. This causes us to face the seeds of intention that we planted one week ago at the new moon and see where we're at. Being that the moon is in Taurus, it's going to be the slow and steady wins the race kind of energy and looking, having the courage to look and say, okay, I said this, this is what's showing up. This is going to be a good energy to see what, what needs to be tweaked in terms of our course and action in manifesting those, those seeds of intention. Um, now that we're, you know, one week out basically. So, Oils for being fully present to what is without denial so that we can take a first step. I would say balance is a good one there. Um, oh, also for the energies earlier in the day, I didn't mention rosemary is the oil of transition and change and helping us be okay with that. And so is cypress. Cypress is not exactly transition and change, but cypress is about going with the flow and is going to be helpful for that Taurus energy that can be really stubborn. Cypress will help soften that so that we can move and still take action, but maybe not be so rigid and, um, yeah, not be so slow about it. Uh, Cypress is just more oil of movement. I think of more like snake energy. It's just quick. Uh, all right, and then let's see. So we've got the bull moon square, oh yeah, so later on tonight, 10 p.m., this Taurus moon, the bull moon, um, is square Saturn and Aquarius. And Saturn is the planet of authority, responsibility, lessons learned the hard way. Uh, Saturn was in Aquarius March 21st through July 1st, but before then, not for 26 years. Um, the last time being 1994. Uh, that was right around the time when the World Wide Web was really taking off, and that can be correlated to this energy. This can be advancements in technology and advancements in consciousness at large, uh, working together as a whole, being that it is in um, Aquarius that is all about working together as a whole for the betterment of all. Um, oils that are going to be helpful for that. I did not mention cedarwood. Cedarwood is going to be really good for softening that. It would be great to use before you go to sleep tonight. And um, other oils to use throughout the day that I didn't mention. And you might want to start your day right with them. Ginger on the belly will help empower you to take action. And digest zen on the belly same thing that will also help you digest some of the emotions you might be experiencing uh, digest zen internally it's a good one to i mean that's like i'm hardcore when it comes to oil so i just take an oil internally straight up but you might want to put it in water it's not bad tasting it's very fennel -y. i mean that's kind of the overpowering taste of it to me but it is a different level when you do put the oils on internally and take them internally because the effects are different with an internal administration uh, versus just topical administration. So do keep that in mind and note not every oil that I mentioned is something you would take internally. So do your homework, reach out if you have questions. Anyway, that covers today. Thank you so much for listening. Have a wonderful day. Enjoy the energies. Thank you for listening, liking, sharing, and subscribing and reach out if I can be of support. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.